Welcome back to five and five. It's week 15. And this is the place where you're going to get five against the spread bets in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Amanda Rose. He's our NFL analyst, Raheem Palmer. Raheem, your picks went three and two last week, but you were actually very close to going five and oh. After being up 24 to six, the Browns let the Ravens claw their way back into it for the cover. And the Bucks scored the rare overtime touchdown to cover their minus three and a half point spread. I mean, those must have hurt. Sunday, I was utterly despondent. Like I sat there and I just... I wonder what was the meaning of my life because there's no reason we shouldn't have gone five and zero. Had we gone five and zero, we would have been in 15th place in the DraftKings contest. Wow. Now we're down into the 50s. We're still in the money, but we're not where we should have been. So we're gonna have to fight back this week. It's only three weeks left because we go on weeks one to 17. I'm ready. Mark my words. I'm gonna take these guys to deep waters and I'm gonna drown them. <laughs> Even though I won our bet last week with that Tampa Bay cover, I am feeling very giving for the holiday, so I'm not going to make you do anything embarrassing today, okay? Oh, you're a total sweetheart. I I know, but since next week is Christmas, though, I think (laughs) that the loser has to sing the winner's favorite Christmas carol. I think that's only fair. That's fair. That's totally fair. And I appreciate you taking it light on me because my feelings was hurt on Sunday. I, (laughs) I cried myself to sleep that night. And and just for our viewers, one quick note before we get into the picks, due to COVID and injury concerns among NFL teams and lack of information, this is a preliminary list of picks, which will be finalized in Raheem's Pick'em column on Saturday on actionnetwork.com. So check the column for more information. Also, we'll be giving away more free Action Network swag. So stay tuned to the end of this video to learn how you can win. Now let's get into Raheem's five picks in five minutes or less. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Raheem, you're ready for your first pick? Let's go. Let's go with the Las Vegas Raiders minus a half a point. Cleveland Browns, they blew an 18-point lead to Tyler Huntley. And they had the best scheduling spot we've ever seen in the last 10, 20 years. Look, this Browns offense is struggling. They scored 17 points or less in seven of the last eight games. And when you look at just some of the issues, they have 18 players on the COVID list, including Baker Mayfield. So this team is struggling right now. We're going to go with the Las Vegas Raiders to bounce back and get this win. I think I'm going to like your next pick. Tell the viewers what that one is. The Philadelphia Eagles minus six and a half. If you guys aren't noticing the theme here, we're going to fade all of these teams that are going through COVID issues. The Washington football team has 19 players on their COVID list, and they have 13 other guys on injured reserve. So they got to piece together a patchwork lineup. You look at this Washington football team defense, the whole defensive line is completely decimated. Of the top six linemen on active roster, five are on a COVID list. What do the Eagles like to do? They like to run the ball. They're going to run the ball down their throat. We look at the offense. Terry McClure has a concussion. He's their leading receiver and best offensive player. So I don't know how Washington is going to score points, and I don't know how they're going to stop the Eagles. We're going to run with the Eagles minus six and a half. We're going to go with the Miami Dolphins minus nine and a half. Look, the Dolphins blitz at a very high rate. You look at Zach Wilson. He struggles against the blitz. He typically completes 59% of his passes at 6.5 yards per attempt against the blitz. He's only completing 45% of his passes. His yards per attempt drops to 4.9. This Jets offense is struggling, particularly without their top two wide receivers in Elijah Moore and Corey Davis. Zach Wilson's been struggling all year. We're going to go with the Dolphins here. When you look at the Dolphins, they should have no problem scoring against this Jets defense. Tua completed almost all of his passes in a week 11 matchup, 22 of 33 for 273 yards, two touchdowns, an interception. They blow the Jets out this week. Cincinnati Bengals plus two and a half short road dogs of three or less are 23 and 10. That's 70% against the spread this season. Broncos, they haven't put together back-to-back wins since the start of November. So that means they're in a good spot to lose this week. I know they beat up on a bad Lions team, but we look at the key to this game. It's the run defense for both teams. The Bengals haven't allowed the a team to rush for 100 yards in each of the last four games. And then on the other side of the ball, Denver is 25th in DVOA against the run. 
So look for Joe Mixon to have a big day. I'm not really trusting Teddy Bridgewater. Joe Burrow is really playing good football right now. Cincinnati is 4-1 against the spread in the last four road games. They cover here, possibly win this game outright. Your last pick, you want to go 5-0 and this week. Where are you going? We'll go with mm-hmm. Green Bay Packers, minus 5.5. We don't know if Lamar Jackson is playing, but I'm going to be honest with you. I like it with or without Lamar. I probably won't put it in a contest if Lamar is playing because we probably see this line drop down to three and a half. But when you look at the Ravens offense, they're struggling. Mm-hmm. They've only, they haven't scored 20 points in four out of the last six games. Lamar Jackson is, he started off the season playing like an MVP candidate, but he now, now has eight interceptions over the last four games. I know everybody's talking about the Lamar Jackson injury, but it's the other injuries around him that's really bad. The whole offensive line missed practice. Left, left tackle, right tackle, center. They didn't practice yesterday. And then when you look at this, the secondary, they're banged up. Obviously, Mar- Marlon Humphrey, he's out for the season. Marcus Peters, he tore his ACL before the season. And they got to go against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. Take the Packers minus five and a half. Just to recap, here are Raheem's five best bets against the spread this week. Las Vegas Raiders minus a half a point at Cleveland Browns. Philadelphia Eagles minus six and a half versus Washington football team. Miami Dolphins minus nine and a half versus the New York Jets. Cincinnati Bengals plus two and a half at Denver Broncos. Green Bay Packers minus five and a half at Baltimore Ravens. And that will do it for Raheem's lineup. And now, what y'all been waiting for, for Amanda's pick. Now, this one was a really tough one. I really like your picks this week, Raheem, but I'm actually going to take that Denver Broncos play minus two and a half at home versus a banged up Joe Burrow who's still dealing with a dislocated pinky issue. Now, these teams are evenly matched with Cincinnati at 19th and overall DVOA and Denver is at 18th. So I'll take the home team. I'm not mad at that, but I think you're going to lose this week and I think you'll be singing singing Christmas carols for me next week. I hope for your sake I lose because I want to see you get into that like top 20, top 15 um, in the DraftKings. (laughs) Now... (laughs) Thank you guys for watching. Comment below which of us you think will win this week. And one of you will be randomly selected to win an Action Network hoodie. And I'll announce the winner next week in our Christmas episode. So be sure to watch. I'm Amanda Rose. He's Raheem Palmer. We'll see you next Thursday for week 16. Enjoy your holiday parties. Stay safe and try not to bet too much money on college bowl games. Christmas.